All right, what's up, everybody? Come back with some more Legends of the Moonwalker. So we're now in this room with this um platform. I just grabbed this thing in case I needed it, but you don't need it. Just just go across the platform. That's all you gotta do. We got this like clear, uh, transparent fucking platform right here. And so it says to call this guy. So you just press the R trigger and it'll call this little statue guy. He'll follow you around. So we're gonna go ahead and lead him back through this, um, through this area. You can't carry him because he'll hit his head on that, uh, clear platform. When you get right here, just pick him up and jump across. And we'll carry him back to the uh, main room right here. The main room of the second floor. He'll link automatically drop him. He'll uh he'll start walking up here to the circle platform on the floor. He'll lock him in. And this stone slab thing will appear right here in the middle with the song on it. So you can go ahead and use your Wind Waker and learn this song. Check it out. Just pull out your Wind Waker. It'll tell you how to play it. Left, middle, right, middle. Fourth, uh... Four rhythm or whatever. Got three, four, and six. We use four for this song. Forget exactly what it's called. But anyway, you get the command melody and melody, and you can now control these statues with it. And then the stone thing disappears. And one of these doors lights up. So now we can go through here and do some more shit. Put this bubble out with your Deku Leaf. Both of them. Because that would help. And you can use your grapple hook to swing your claws. You're probably meant to go to the left first, but we're gonna go straight ahead because I didn't realize that I probably should have went to the left first, but it's all good. So I was confused on what to do here for a second, and then I seen this uh, grappling thing up here. So just swing across. And then use R to call this guy off his stand. Just like the other one. He'll follow you around. So we want to stand on the switch right here. We'll make a bridge. And then we want to use the command melody. Melody. You can control this guy and just walk across the bridge with him. Because that's the only way you're going to get him out of this room. And we need him. So just leave him over there and use your grappling hook to get back. And then you can carry him out of here.
So now we need to go in the door to the left. We, like I said, we probably should have already went in it, but we'll go get. We'll go in there right now. Stand on that switch to unlock the door. Well, okay, never mind. You actually have to have that guy to get in there. Okay. Just set him on that switch. Now the King of Red Lines guy is going to tell us something. He's going to tell us to wait for us. If we leave him, the little statue guys. So, uh, yeah, I actually called the, um, King of Red Lines Tetra earlier when he called us on that stone. Because I didn't think it would be him calling us. I thought only Tetra could talk through that shit, but yeah. He called us earlier through that shit, and I called him Tetra. Way earlier in the, um. I think it was in the Forsaken Fortress. That was way earlier, but. I forgot about that for a while, but I wanted to mention, yeah, that's not Tetra. I wanted to got that manly voice. Should have fucking figured that. Alright, so through this door, we got our first Iron Knuckle. So what you want to do for this guy is pull out your sword, wait for him to strike, and use the um use the counter attack. You can steal a knight's crest from him, and then just fuck his ass up. Now we got the hero's bow. So those eye things we've been seeing on the walls, we can shoot those with our bow now. Just like in other Zelda games. We can get rid of these bubbles with the Deku Leaf, or you can just use your new found hero's bow to take them out. It's your choice. I wasn't used to the sensitivity of the GameCube controller right there, that's why I kept missing. Because I'm used to Xbox, but... Whatever. You can't touch your sensitivity for this game, so. Because that was, um. This ain't really like a FPS game or anything, so. They kind of figured you wouldn't need to. It was a little bit fast for me, but. That's why I was missing and shit. So now we take this guy out here and see what happens. Our second statue got locked into place. Now the third door starts to glow. But now that we have the hero's bow, I want to go get something really quick. Or not. Okay, never mind. Maybe we'll do that next episode. Or fuck, I don't know. I don't even know if I do go get something. I was thinking I was going to go get something out of the temple from earlier. 
my own terrible shot with the fucking arrows. So in this room, you just ride the platforms. We'll shoot. We shot the eye thing. So now it'll go up and down the eye platform. And we can use it to get over here to this treasure chest and grab a small key out of it. So now you can get out of this room, but. This video is already short enough, so I decided to keep this in. You can use this other platform to get to the other side. But there's nothing over here worth getting, so... Pretty much, just get the hell out of this room. There's nothing in here to get. end up jumping off anyway all right so we'll get the hell out of there we'll go ahead and blow up in this um cracked wall right here with a bomb we need to cook it a little bit though or else the water will put it out and we can go check out what's through here it's another door So we got these armos standing here. You'll probably recognize them from my older Zelda games too. They look a lot different, more stupid looking, but they're still the same. They still do the same shit. You can't kill them the same way though. Not exactly, but whatever. So just play the Winds Requiem here. No, make a treasure chest. We can grab whatever's inside. And it's a treasure chart. I just decided to show this, like I said, because this video is already pretty short. But. I guess we're going to take out the Armos. Um, I don't know if you need that for a heart or anything, but whatever. He's got. I'm, I think you gotta shoot them in the eye and then throw a bomb in their mouth. But, however you do it, I don't know. I don't know if that's the for sure way to kill them, but... I know they just hit me, so their mouth open, I just threw a bomb in there. That's it for this episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe. This is your boy Swiss, and I'm out. Peace.